What's up, beautiful souls? In this video, we're gonna show you everything you need to do to get yourself some Dr. Kimchi token. Step number one, you're gonna to have to get yourself a wallet that can receive Solana network tokens. We recommend the Phantom Wallet. For step one, I'm gonna take you over to my friend Nikolai. Nikolai, take it away. Here we go at phantom.app. I'm opening this up in the Chrome browser and you're gonna just download the wallet and that's essentially uh, an extension that goes into Chrome. So here we go, I've already installed it. And in this case, it's gonna show the remove button because it's already there. So I'm gonna click on extensions. I'm gonna click on Phantom and that will take me to this page here. Create a new wallet or import an existing wallet. So in this case, we're gonna create a new wallet. So type yourself a password here. This is the password that you're gonna to use to log into your Phantom wallet. So make sure it's something that you can remember and write it down on a piece of paper if need be. Once you've agreed to the terms of service, you're gonna get a secret recovery phrase. Remember, this is a secret recovery phrase for, yours, for your eyes only. So write this down on a piece of paper somewhere secure. Once you've written them down, you're gonna to go to the next step. So you're all done from here. You can now fully enjoy your wallet. So if you click on the extensions button again and go to the Phantom Wallet, this time you'll actually see your Phantom Wallet you just created. And it's gonna tell you a little bit about Welcome to Bitcoin. And uh, once you've understood those, you can go to the next step. If you click up top, you're gonna to have different wallet addresses for the different cryptocurrencies. So one for BTC, one for Ethereum, one for Solana, and another one for Polygon. In this case, we want to choose our Solana receiving wallet. So we're going to click on that one and we're going to get a receiving code. So copy that. That's your Solana address. And that's how you're going to be able to receive Solana. All right. Thanks, Nikolai. The next thing you need to do is convert some fiat, also known as fake money, into crypto, a.k.a. real money. So the private way to do that if you really don't want people knowing how much crypto you have or what you're doing would be to meet someone in person that's the old school way to do it you meet someone you give them cash they send you the crypto so i would suggest if that's the way you want to do it crypto meetup groups they're happening in cities all over the world the people are friendly you can meet cool people and you can learn a lot about crypto and about cool projects so that would be a great tip also uh, the freedom cell network awesome network we'll put a link below this video there's freedom cells everywhere with like-minded people they might be able to help you out as well okay so if you are able to do that to get some crypto for cash the next step will be mr nikolai is going to show you how to turn that into dr kimchi token take it away nikolai and we'll be right back all right this is the part where someone has sent you solana to your solana address click on your extensions go to your phantom wallet and you're gonna see, in this case, we should have about $6.19. Yep, there we go. Here we go back on drkimchi.xyz. Click on buy Dr. Kimchi. That's gonna open a new tab to the Jupiter Exchange. So here you can swap Solana for Dr. Kimchi. Again, we're gonna connect our wallet, same as we do on all these other websites. Click Phantom, and that's gonna connect the wallet you just created earlier. Once that's done, wallet is going to be connected. You're going to see it on the bottom. And we're going to say the maximum supply, in this case, 0.033 Solana. We need a little bit for the swap itself. And we're going to switch it into Dr. Kimchi, which is already filled out for you. Click the swap button, and that should be all we need to do. You're going to get a confirmed transaction and let you know that you're going to swap Solana. That's coming out, and Dr. Kimchi is coming in. The network fees are shown there. And just like that, transaction confirmed in the bottom corner. And we can go back up to our Phantom wallet and confirm that, yes, indeed, we have Dr. Kimchi in the wallet and we have less Solana than we started with. So that's it. That's the process. It's pretty straightforward. And you have now got Dr. Kimchi in your Phantom wallet. Hey, if that worked for you, congratulations. You are done and you do not need to watch the rest of this video. However, what if you run into people out there in the real world and they don't have Solana to sell you? What if they only have Ethereum or Bitcoin or some other cryptocurrency? Well, here's the good news. You've already got a Bitcoin wallet address in your Phantom wallet. Now you can use a really easy website that's been around for years called simpleswap.io to convert your Bitcoin into Solana. All right, guys, for this video, we're going to head over to simpleswap.io where you can convert whatever crypto you have 
into any other crypto. In this example today, I'm going to be converting a tiny amount, just not to be showing off, 0 0.001 Bitcoin into, you guessed it, Solana. Okay, so all you do, you put in your figures, you click the exchange button, it tells you the amount you're going to receive, and it wants your wallet address. So I'm going to go over to my Phantom wallet, and I'm going to click on Solana. Make sure you're on Solana before you hit receive. There's your receive address. You're going to copy that address. You're going to pop back over here. You're going to put your address in here. You're going to click create an exchange. So all you have to do then is send the amount of Bitcoin you have agreed to to this address. This button over here will copy that address. Then you need to send the Bitcoin. So I have my Bitcoin over also in my Phantom wallet as it happens. So I'm going to pop back over here. I'm going to go to my Bitcoin once again. I, I, I want to be modest. I don't like having wallets with too much money in them for these kind of videos. So just a modest $136, not getting too crazy. But I'm going to click send. Put the address in and make sure to put in exactly the correct amount. Zero, zero, one, point zero, zero, one. There it is. Click next. It's going to give you network fee, how much it's going to cost, all this information. You can, of course, double check. It shows you here the, the first uh, few characters and the last of the wallet you're sending to. So that's just a, a really good way to check to just to be triple safe. You're sending it to the right place and then hit send. All right, now that you've successfully turned your BTC into Solana, go back to chapter four, where Nikolai is gonna show you how to turn your Solana into Dr. Kimchi. All right, let's say you're a little bit shy. You don't wanna go out there and meet people. You just wanna be able to get the crypto, you know, yourself, no problem. There's plenty of Bitcoin ATM machines that you can use. There's centralized exchanges out there like Coinbase, uh, Kraken, Binance, they all work. Just be aware, you do have to do know your customer verification, uh, upload ID, all that kind of stuff. But as long as you're okay with that, it's no big deal. However, I would still suggest SimpleSwap because we trust them. They're a really good service and there's less, uh, there's less hassle using that service than the centralized exchanges. And the best way to learn about that is from SimpleSwap themselves. Hi guys, and welcome to the SimpleSwap cryptocurrency exchange. In this video, we will guide you on how to buy cryptocurrencies in our platform using fiat money. So let's roll. SimpleSwap offers the possibility to buy and sell crypto using Visa, MasterCard, UnionPay, Apple Pay, and Google Pay. Our platform supports 14 fiat currencies, including the most popular ones like the US dollar, euro, and British pound, so you'll definitely find the option that'll work for you. Are you ready to buy some crypto? Let's start. First, select the fiat currency that you would like to pay with in the USEN section using the drop-down list. You will see the most popular fiat currencies at the top of the list, but you can also find the other ones using the search bar. In this example, we will choose the US dollar. Next, enter the amount you would like to spend. Now select the cryptocurrency that you want to buy in the UGET section. You can also use the search bar. In this example, we will show you how to purchase Bitcoin. After that, you will see the estimated amount of BTC you will receive. Please note that there is a minimum amount for every exchange. Click the exchange button to move to the next step. Here, you need to enter the recipient's Bitcoin address. Please note that there are different address types for each cryptocurrency. Be careful, don't forget to check that you use the correct address. Alright, now all the necessary details for the exchange are entered. Once again, make sure that all the data is correct. If everything is okay, click the Create Exchange button to proceed further. All fiat operations are carried out with the help of our partner, Mercurio. To continue and make your purchase, you need to read thoughtfully and agree with the terms of service and privacy policy provided by SimpleSwap and our partner. Click the Go to Exchange page to move forward. Please note that purchases up to 900 euros in total do not require proof of identity. Still, 
Due to regulatory requirements in some regions, you may be asked to pass verification. Please note that SimpleSwap doesn't keep or have access to your personal data. Click the Buy button to move to the next step. Here, you'll need to enter your email address. The system will send you a confirmation code to the specified address so you can move further. As in this video tutorial, we're purchasing crypto for more than 900 euros during the following steps. We'll show you how to verify identity. Choose your country and document type. Then upload the chosen document to the system. Next, take a selfie with your document in your hand. The document must be the same as you uploaded before. It may take some time to check out provided data. Here, you need to choose the payment method. Then enter your card details in a received confirmation code to proceed next. After that, the purchase process will be started and you'll see information about it on the screen. You will also receive emails about the status of your operation. Usually, the purchase process takes up to 15 minutes, but depending on the network load, it may take a bit longer. When your transaction will be completed, you will see the indicated status as finished successfully. That's it. Your purchase is completed. See how simple it is. That was simple, right? Easy peasy. So now that you've got some Solana, you need to go and watch chapter four where Nikolai is going to show you how to convert that Solana into Dr. Kimchi. Hopefully we've covered everything that you need in this video, but if we did not, don't worry. We have a Telegram group with amazing people in it. Seriously, our community is fantastic. Everybody's super gung-ho about the project. I'm in there, Nikolai's in there, everybody's in there. So if you have questions, go in there and somebody will help you figure out whatever you need to, to figure out to get some kimchi. There's a bunch of great links that will help you underneath this video. Check those out as well. And uh, that's really it. We are so excited that you watched this video and actually got through it. I know it's difficult when you're new to crypto. So we appreciate you. We love you. And uh, let's, uh, let's take Dr. Kimchi to the moon together.